I don't care if somebody decides to loot a Gucci or a Macy's or a Nike because that makes sure that that person eats. Are they going to eat the clothes or what? <laughs> that makes sure that that person has clothes. Do you think this is a healthy way of thinking? Does her logic make any sense? You know what else would make sure these people had food? Going to work and being an honest citizen. You don't have to steal from others to get stuff. Maybe looting businesses isn't the right way to go. What about the store owners? They are trying to make money to be able to have food and clothes. Do these people only think about themselves and their own needs? It seems like that is the case. That is reparations. Anything they want to take, take it because these businesses have insurance. Ah, uh, there we go. So looting is now called reparations. Can I ask what the reparations are for? Slavery? Something that didn't affect you a bit? Slavery was abolished in 1865, so how exactly are you affected by it today? These people are just lazy leeches who don't want to work and expect others to pay for their needs. If they put as much effort into being a useful part of society as they do into being a professional victim, they wouldn't need to protest or loot. But that seems like a crazy concept for these people. But I don't want to make the video about BLM, it's more about the imprint it left on many black people's lives. You don't know what I mean, well have a look at this. Security video shows 37-year-old Karen Ivory checking out at the register. Of course, her name is Karen. Fits her pretty well. When the bill surpasses $1,000, Ivory says she won't have enough. So I, I came around and I was like, hey, what can I do for you? Okay. Usually it's like like a, the price is wrong or whatever. Uh -huh. She starts going on this, this spiel about uh, like, I've had a privileged yeah. life and she's been disadvantaged and then said that she was asking Target to make reparations for her. Yeah, you've heard that one correctly. Not only did a woman with $1,000 worth of products call a cashier privileged, she also demanded reparations. What a failed human being. I think the cashier handled that pretty well. If I was a cashier and someone told me that I was privileged because of the color of my skin, I would laugh in their face. That is actual racism. Judging someone only by the color of their skin, while they clearly struggle just as much or even more than you. Security video shows the incident unfold as Ivory approaches the manager and gets in her face. After that, a loss prevention manager approaches. Surveillance video shows Ivory run after the manager and into his office. When she approaches, he punches her in the face. Very good. She needed that reality check. Imagine for a second how indoctrinated and dumb someone has to be to not only try to convince people that they should give you expensive stuff for free, Basically, pay for your groceries, call them privileged when they tell you that that's not going to happen, and then assault the manager, forcing him to punch you in the face, and then still not getting the message. Obviously, the manager called the cops, and this is what happened when they arrived. Hey, would you more, quit you talking. More. Hey, no. Excuse you? Stop talking when I'm telling you. You stop talking, okay? Do you know who I am? Uh, no, nobody knows who you are. You are not as special as you think. Remember when I made fun of her name being Karen? Yeah, she really acts like one. Call the manager, check. Assault the manager, check. Ask people, do you know who I am, check. She is really ticking every Karen box. The entitlement is through the roof. Ivory later tells police officers the incident stemmed from her request for reparations on her purchase. Depends on, I don't know what this discussion is about. What were you asking her to do? reach out to her manager so we can have a larger discussion about how money works. Did you hear that? She wanted to have a discussion with the manager about quote-unquote how money works. You dumb bitch. You yourself clearly have no idea how money works. If you knew how it worked, you wouldn't be making a scene at Target about reparations, assaulting staff, telling them that they are somehow privileged, and asking police if they know who you are. Give me a break how provision works and how it's been working on the for a very long way. Can you elaborate a little bit on the further detail? Sure. Ivory calls the incident her, quote, Rosa Parks moment. Yeah, she is comparing her disgusting behavior with Rosa Parks. We all know money has not been treating everybody equally. Okay. Money is not the only way for things to happen. It's were, you, not, were you asking them to make a donation, essentially, or to let you have them for free? No, what was it? I was coming up to the limit of where I had money. I was trying to ask if Target would comp me 
the rest and we would have a conversation, a bigger, bubble up a bigger conversation about why, because I know the heart of this place. Again, nobody cares. Target has nothing to do with slavery. You are not entitled to receive compensations from Target. Sorry to hear that you didn't have enough money to pay for the stuff you wanted to purchase. Do you know what the solution to your problem would have been? Buying less stuff? Isn't that much more simple than causing a massive scene? When Ivory is told she's now trespassing in Target, she becomes visibly upset. Come on. No, I'm not going to Come on, don't make, don't make this uh, nope. more difficult than it has no, to be. No, it's going to be on camera. Where are you holding your lines at? Come on. Ivory then pushes back, arguing she should not be removed from the store. Now she probably thinks that she is on the same level as Martin Luther King. She's fighting for reparations for something that happened almost 200 years ago. I bet she remembers how hard life was back then. Finally, Ivory allows officers to handcuff her. I need you to turn around, put your hands behind her back. You're under arrest. Thank you. I refuse to believe this woman is not on drugs. I really respect people who stand up for themselves. But this is far from it. She is just causing a scene because she isn't able to pay for her stuff, and that's somehow Target's fault.